do your part to help conserve water is to ditch the grass in your lawn and maybe replace it with turf. Well, Tyler May joins us now and uh, lets us know how we can get uh, this turf in our yard and install it ourselves. That's amazing. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, good morning, Kim. Good morning, Kobe. Yeah, it's very amazing. You just put some of this fake stuff around your home, you could be saving thousands of gallons of water just within a year. So we're hanging out here at the synthetic grass warehouse here in Fresno, just off of Dakota Avenue. And so Ben is joining me here. And so Ben, this stuff can really help people throughout the drought. Yeah, it's actually, uh, most homeowners use about 50% of their water usage on their lawns. So by wow. taking out your lawn and replacing it with synthetic grass, you can save, like you said, thousands of gallons across the entire state. We're talking millions of gallons mm -hmm. just in one year. You know, and Ben, the big question is, is that, you know, it's, it sounds like it's tough to get involved, but you guys offer a good service that if people want to walk in here, they can learn it themselves do it, do it at their homes. Right. Yeah, we, uh, we're the only true warehouse in the valley. We have over 100,000 square feet on hand daily. We've got the only cutting machine in the valley here with our, uh, our main man, Junior, back there, man in the helm. So people, homeowners can come in any time of the day. Contractors can come in. Our primary business is to contractors, mm -hmm. but we also sell direct to the homeowner. So if they want to come in and purchase a, a piece of grass for their install, we'll do that as well. So. And, you know, Ben, it really is amazing. To see. This stuff, it looks real. It really does. Yeah, it's actually designed. So we're, we brought Tiger Turf to the valley. Um, we're the only distributor of Tiger Turf as well. Mm -hmm. Tiger Turf spends more on research and development than any other company. So the goal, obviously, is to have a, a lawn. We don't want to have green yard carpet like some, uh, some have had in the past. We want you to have an actual lawn. So again, we design our grasses to be the most realistic looking. And that's actually where one of our, our newest one, Nature's Blend, just came from. That's cool. So say I'm walking in here. I, ha I own a home and I need grass in front of my yard. What do I need to do? So we walk you through step by step. Well, first, we need to figure out where it is. We diagnose the amount of traffic you're going to be using, okay. what it's going to be having. So we have grasses from low traffic, aesthetically pleasing, low price point grasses to high traffic could be used in a, a a uh, playground, we have Valley Children's Hospital playground, we're all over. Um, and so that's the first thing. Where, where is it going to be? Okay, let's and say in my front yard. So front yard, there is nothing better than nature's blend. This is the most realistic looking grass ever made. We just got this in about a month ago, and Fresno was the first in the nation to have it. Wow. So this is, if you want realistic fescue looking grass, nature's blend is where it's at. Mm. You can also go with any, for front yard, it's really your preference. We have like a hybrid Bermuda look here. This also doubles as our pet turf. It, feels, it, it looks incredibly real. And so how much do you need to get? Like, so let's say, how, how much is it a square foot for this stuff? It ranges from about $2 a square foot to $4 a square foot for the grass itself. Standard installation runs about $8 a square foot. That's including the grass and all the materials, everything you need. And again, that's to have it done right. So that's one of the things we pride ourselves in. Mm -hmm. We go from the base to the grass to the, uh, the, the, top, the, the top dressing, the infill and we teach people how to do it right. That sounds cool. And of course, you're going to show us that, that installation coming up in 30 minutes. Thank you, Ben. And so come on back to us. We're going to show you how to install the grass just so you can do it at home. So Kim and Kobe, some good ways to help save water during the drought.